Hi guys, welcome back to Cravings Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. A couple of days ago, I filmed an episode for Manchow Soup and I bought so many ingredients that I had to do something with them or they would go bad. Now typically you can leave them in the fridge for a couple of days, but if you forget to cook it, you will end up just throwing it in the garbage. So I devised a way to actually take the ingredients and bag them individually and put them in the freezer so you can have them on hand whenever you need to prepare a soup. Before I go any further in showing you how to do this, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week and ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. I started off with some stellar ingredients like garlic and ginger, fried tofu, mushrooms, carrots, spring onions, cauliflower, green beans, cabbage and green pepper. For my mancha soup recipe, I only needed a little bit and didn't want to waste the rest. This took a little bit of time and patience but I diced all of the ingredients and I have these ready to go. My soup recipe requires that the ginger, garlic and spring onions be sauteed first. So I'm going to wrap these individually about a tablespoon each in some saran wrap. For the rest of the ingredients, I need about a quarter cup of each. I have a freezer safe marked bag here and I'm gonna start with the tofu, mushrooms, carrots, celery, cauliflower, green pepper, oops, I already did cauliflower, so let's go to the green beans, cabbage, and I'm just going to eyeball this, and I'm going to also add a pinch of spring onion leaves. Now let's watch this again, in no particular order. sealing the bag, don't forget the ginger and garlic onion pouch. Once this is done, I'm going to fill up a few more bags. I can store these in my freezer. They're perfect for me whenever I feel like a little bit of soup, but they're also perfect for my son who's in university and is cooking for himself. Once frozen, just thaw out the ingredients and follow this amazing recipe. I'm going to leave this link at the end of the video as well as in the description. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Soup Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this really simple trick to getting soup on your table in no time. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. Share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I hope to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you can help me get there. Also, ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And make sure to follow me on all of my social media channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care guys, bye!